Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I want to go to show you how to change the CSS styles in WordPress themes and or I should emphasize most WordPress themes because uh, there may be a few out there that don't give you any controls to change certain colors or padding anything like that and that's actually where you would need a uh, program like Dreamweaver that you can go in and edit the uh, document itself and uh, change the uh, uh, CSS styles. Anyhow, I want to go to show you how to change some uh, some colors and some padding and you know background colors. So uh, first off, uh, I should, we should go ahead and go to the uh, dashboard here of your WordPress. There's actually one other alternative that you can reach inspect elements if you're using Google Chrome like I am, and you look at the top right, you're going to see three bars, horizontal bars here. Let me pull my browser over for you and you click on these three bars and you go to tools and developer tools and it'll come up the same exact way I just thought that should be uh, good for you to know and um, this theme actually is called music space um, it really doesn't matter what your theme is you need to find where these controls are for the uh, CSS so I'm going to go ahead and click on my music space and you would should click on your uh, theme, whatever it may be. And uh, believe it or not, under integration is where uh, my controls are for custom CSS. And uh, this is what you need to find under your uh, particular theme. And this is where you can do all the editing and all that fun stuff. Uh, WordPress does make it easy that if you want to do something um, like change this, uh, I guess this uh, font's a grayish. And if you go back to the actual page itself, it doesn't look so uh, clear to read. And uh, this is actually easy when you're in the WordPress editing, because uh, I can pretty much select all and uh, go to the text color and change it to, uh, we'll say, yellow, update it, and uh, we're going to go ahead and hit refresh. And uh, this is a lot easier to read, even though it doesn't look great. Uh, you can actually le read the, the, the yellow a lot better. So that's easy. But uh, if you want to do something like change this H1, uh, most most themes out there do not give you the ability to change those uh, colors. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, so if I'm using Google Chrome, um, I'm not sure if you're using uh, you know Safari or Internet Explorer, but most of these uh, browsers now have the ability that you can go ahead and uh, click on it to open the Inspect Element. But uh, the way it works is is see that word playing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click on it and um, go to inspect element and uh, here is your H1. See it shows you exactly what's what's here. Um, this is actually just for you. So if you're going to go ahead and change something, other viewers out there don't have to, uh, don't, are not going to see what you changed. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, so we, we found the H1 here and you go to the right and right away you can see look there's the color and obviously that's white which is uh, FFF so if you click on this square here and uh, we're going to go ahead and maybe just change it to a uh, yellow too and whatever you change this to if you look if you look up here it changes the word playing so if I wanted a you know a light purple go here and, and look at change but uh, so we changed that now once again, if someone's uh, going into your website, they're not going to see this because this is just for you. But the way that it works is if you want uh, others to see your changes, you'll have to uh, copy and paste this information here. So I'm just going to take my mouse over this in front of articles here. And uh, I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go into my uh, um, custom CSS here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this. And um, so we want to go ahead and uh, save the changes. My changes happen to be over here, so I'm going to go ahead and click this to save my changes. Now, if we go back to the website, hit refresh. For now, now everybody in the world is going to see that you have this uh, H1 as uh, light purple. Uh, next, uh, for example, if you want to go ahead and change this background, which is uh, black. Go ahead and once again right click 
and we are going to go to uh, inspect element. It's going to take you. Uh, let's try one more time. I'm going to right click and hit inspect element, and it's, so it's going to tell you where where you are here. And it's easier sometimes if you just go on top of this section. And um, it looks like the H1 is still selected, but um, just give me a minute to find the uh, background. So this is the main content, I imagine, which you see here. And look, background is right here. So if we go ahead and click on this and say I want the background to be a, uh, uh, we'll say, an orange for whatever reason, Dark Orange look, it changes. And uh, once again, you got your color here. And nobody in the world is going to see that but you until you put it into the custom CSS. And there's also controls like padding. And as you can see, the top has zero here. And it looks like the um, right and left, I'm sorry, the uh, I guess it would be the uh, right and the bottom have uh, 20 uh, pixels of padding. So right now, if we want to uh, decrease that 20, maybe make it a 10, here, let's see how that changes. And if we want to kind of make this 10, that was on the bottom, so that would be the bottom, sorry. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make that 5. And you see how that changes. Now, say you're happy with this change, you can actually go ahead and once again copy this and go back into your uh, custom CSS, paste it, save, and now when we get back to the website, hit refresh, we'll get, we'll get out of inspect element. This is exactly what the world is going to see now. Once again, you can't control these in most themes. It's possible, they may have a control for that, but certain things like these H1 you're not going to be able to uh, control. Anyhow, uh, let's see. Let's go into, uh, we'll save the background here on the sideboard. Um, let's go ahead and click on Inspect Element. And that comes up. And um, once again, if you hover over each, each one of these, it's going to highlight a particular section. So we are at sidebar. So right away, you know something is good here when you say the word sidebar. And uh, once again, if you look, the background is black and say I want to change that to it I don't know blue it changes that to the blue and there's also padding controls here so say I want to uh, change this from 20 to 10 that controls the padding as you saw once again if I, if I want to go extreme and make it 50 you can see how much uh, padding uh, it added so we'll just keep it at something like 5 and once again all you need to do is copy this and take it into your uh, CSS file save and uh, hit reload and now the entire world can see your change here and you can I'll, I'll do this as the last example here um, if you want to change even like recent posts all you have to do is go on top of it click on inspect element and okay that's an H3 so it's H3 which is uh, on the sidebar here and uh, let's look for the color okay we see that's white so if we want to change this white to a uh, light blue or something, you know, something like that you see it changed and uh, all you need to do is take this copy and uh, once again, paste that into your custom CSS code, save changes, and uh, refresh, and now that is light blue. Okay, one uh, major last change that we can try just for uh, exploring how this uh, CSS styles work. Um, let's go ahead and change the background. If you look, there's some sort of uh, gradient back picture gradient background that they have, but there's actually a background to it. So I'm going to go all the way over here, right click, and hit inspect element. This is going to pop up. And once again, you know, the sections that you click on top of, it's going to highlight each section. So I assume the background would be, you know, you know, towards the top. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first row here, and uh, right here is the background. So once again, go ahead and click on the square, and uh, say I want to change it to a uh, green. And you see it changing green. Once again, only you can see this. The world cannot see it. But until you copy and paste it, which I'm doing now, copy it, and we apply it in here, and hit save. And uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and refresh. Now all the world can see the fact that you have a uh, green background here. And um, there may be, there's a, there's a solution to everything, even, even if you have a logo and you want to change the logo or, you know, put spacing in somewhere where more spacing or more padding, uh, you can do that under these controls. Sometimes you have to play around a little bit first, and uh, sometimes it may take five minutes or it might take you 50 minutes to find something, but uh, there is always a solution with this inspect element. Uh, that is it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. If you can, I appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you very much.